Today, I'm going to be showing you how quick and easy it is to deploy Bitwarden in your self-hosted environment using our unified Docker container. In this demonstration, I'll be using a Raspberry Pi 3 with Bitwarden powered by a SQLite database. To get started, we'll navigate to the Bitwarden website. We'll go to the Help Center and reference the documentation for deploying the unified Docker container. Here we can read about all the options for how to get set up and get running quickly and easily. The first thing we need to do is configure our environment variables for our Docker container. The documentation references a settings.env file in our GitHub repository that's a good starting point for configuring your environment. We'll grab the settings file and we'll move into the terminal for our Raspberry Pi 3. Here we'll create the settings env file and paste the reference template that we got from the GitHub repository. We'll move to the top and start specifying the required settings. Here we'll need to specify the domain name. In my case, it's going to be pi3.local, which is where my Raspberry Pi is running on my local network. We'll move down and configure the database. As I mentioned, in this particular case, we'll be using a SQLite database. So I'll specify the provider as SQLite. And because we're using SQLite, we don't need to provide these other database settings. So we'll go ahead and comment those out. We'll move down and then specify our installation ID and our key. I'll go ahead and put my key in now. Next, we'll move down into these optional settings. Most of these you won't need to modify, but you can read about them in our documentation. The one thing that I'll change in our demonstration here is I'll enable the BW enable SSL setting to true. This is because Bitwarden requires HTTPS to operate. And HTTPS can be provided by a, a certificate that's provided here, or you can terminate HTTPS with your proxy and provide SSL that way. Here, since we're turning on this setting, we'll get a self-signed certificate and key for our container. We'll go ahead and save our settings file and we'll move back into the documentation. We can see that the next thing the documentation specifies that we need to do is run this docker run command. We'll go ahead and grab this docker run command and move back into our container. Once we're back in this container, we can paste our docker run command and execute. We'll see now that Bitwarden's up and running and we can reference it in our web browser. 